Renowned Nigerian comedian, come filmmaker Ayo Meku, popular in as AY, has confirmed that his marriage to Mebe Meku has crashed after 15 years. There have been reports that the movie star and his wife have parted ways over alleged infidelity. In a statement via his Instagram page on Sunday, AY confirmed that his marriage has hit the rock but will not be entertaining the public with personal issues about his family. The comedian admitted that he has found himself doing things that he isn't proud of and it's sad to watch his marriage slip away. Many people believe that staying silent sleeping means one is incapable of dealing with issues. Projecting a negative narrative against someone who is not struggling to defend himself doesn't mean he's weak. Some of us are just logical enough to understand the difference between opinion, value, belief and fact. The personality and ability I possess simply confirm that I have reached that stage in my life where I cannot be entertaining the public with do personal family issues. They just might be too much to handle concerning the individuals involved. Not even when I have a grown-up daughter who has access to social media, her mental health needs to be protected from seeing things she cannot be proud of online. Yes, without compromising my family, I have found myself doing things that I'm not proud of today. It is one thing to watch my friendship marriage of 20 years slip off my hands, but it's another thing for the parties involved to understand how to appropriate the blame in a space that is designed for most women to always play the victim and win. I cannot tell you for free that no one is completely innocent, enough to cast stones. Presently, I'm loving the way that lies about me in all blocks are traveling faster than the truth. But my painful truth will eventually beat away all the lies. Meanwhile, celebrity John Stella Dami Kokos has alleged that three beautiful ladies are fingered in the breakup of comedian AY's marriage. In a post via her Instagram page, she wrote, Big Brother Star, pregnant twice for the comedian and the second pregnancy caused problem before it was taken out. Musician's baby mama were accused of benching him severely despite being friends with the wife. Actor's wife, you are accused of warming his bed their receipts and the wife is mad at you for betraying her like this. The fashion designer pimping for the comedian and banging his wife. Those three people are part of those responsible for the crash. Don't ask me to keep quiet. The betrayers are too much from the stories. This is Nollywood script and waiting for the premiere. Popular Nigerian singer Onide Aziz, also known as Noliski, was spotted having a scuffle with his Lagos driver. In a video making the rants online, the singer could be seen attacking a driver in Lagos for stopping his convoy to demand for money. His netizens identified as Dami Ad had explained how the driver stopped the bus he was driving and went to beg the Nuliski for money. However, the singer was obviously infiltrated by the development, he the driver for stopping his car. The netizens wrote, I took a report on my way to Lekki this evening with Sos Nuliski's convoy on the road, where a driver parked bus for the middle of the road to beg for money. Zeno came down, gave the driver blow for mouth. You know NDL, driver no grill. He enter bus, begin the pursuit, Zino car. He say as Zino, don't give him blow. Zino must give him money. Person when they back seats, they shout, I gon' give while driver no stop. Driver, they follow Zino. Nollywood actress Ade Jumoke Ademoru, popularly known for her feature in the hit series Jennifer's Diary, is dead. A family member of the actress shared the news of Ademoru's death on social media. According to celebrity journalist Shinwu Ole Kutuyi, the circumstances that led to the sudden demise as a sketchy. Ademoru was popularly known for her role as Esther in Jennifer's Diary. During her time, Ademoru was the only Nigerian to be nominated for the Best Actress Award at the International Film Festival in Dallas for a short film shot in 2013. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.